Quarterfinal four match number two now underway. Alex1477 for blue and Nick862 for red racing down the initiation line to grab hold of power cells. And like we've seen before, all six robots simultaneously firing into their respective power ports. Red Alliance taking that early lead from the autonomous period, double scoring 101 to 78. We're now seeing Wan Yang and Nick's 862 at the Red Alliance loading zone. Alex1477 and Nick L returning from that loading zone. They're scoring already for the Blue Alliance. Less than two minutes to go. Neck and Neck are two alliances. Red Alliance racking up the points as we speak. Looks like they have more power cells scored than the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance, though, has had better luck getting into the inner port for the additional point per score power cell. A little bit of trouble between Devadio and Matt L led to Devadio getting respawned when a robot is in contact with another robot in their territory for five seconds that robot will get respawned onto their initiation line and a 15 point penalty will be assessed it looks like Devadio is sticking to a defensive strategy trying to get in the way of blue alliance robots as they score right now continually hitting nick l and now switching over to matt l that defense being played by Devadio seems to be working the Red Alliance is in the lead with just those two Alliance partners working on offense. Devadio's efforts slowing down the Blue Alliance scoring just enough to maintain that Red Alliance lead. Less than a minute to go in our match. It looks like Matt L shifting strategy for the Blue Alliance while well, they were playing offense, now trying to get in the way of Wan Yang before going back to their loading zone to grab hold of more. Just a few seconds away from the end game period, T minus 30 seconds. Red Alliance starting to pull ahead, 263 to 223. All three Red Alliance robots near the loading zone, grabbing hold of more. 15 seconds to go, and Devadio already getting set in the Red Alliance rendezvous point. Their arm is up, and they're lining up with the shield generator switch. It looks like all three Red Alliance robots want to be sure that they can pull themselves up. It is a very close match, but pulling all three of themselves up could seal the win for the Red Alliance. It looks like the Blue Alliance also able to get their robots up, but it could not, might not have been enough. We'll have to wait for the final results. Final scores incoming for quarterfinal four match two. This one goes to the Red Alliance. With a final score of 356 to 348, the Red number three Alliance has sealed their second quarterfinal win and their ticket on to the semifinals. That means the number three Alliance will be going up against the number two Alliance in the semifinals. Looking closer at our scores, it looks like both Red and Blue able to score 75 points during the end game. So it all came down to the effective autonomous period that the Red Alliance ran at the very beginning of the match. Since it's the end of their day, let's hear it in the chat for our number six Alliance and their members, Matt L, Alex1477, and Nick L. Thank you so much for being a part of SimChamps 2020. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.